This video is brought to you by our wonderful sponsors, UEI Test Instruments, Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service, The Quick Connects by Way Technologies, and The Tight Taper, making tight places to tape a breeze. What's going on, everybody? It is cold as shit in Louisiana again. Today is February the 27th, I believe. Uh, it's cold as shit. I have some changeouts for myself scheduled next week. But my dad had another changeout that he needed some help with. So I'm down or up here helping him on a very familiar system. So it was kind of cool to come down here and change it out. There's the new ream. This... This uh, unit has been in, in a previous video, probably a couple previous videos. Uh, it's been a while, but one of the famous videos that I did on this system was I took the TXV out and uh, replaced it with a piston because the TXV had went bad. I will try to put one of those uh, YouTube, you know, click, click on it, the video thing here at the end of this video. So you can, if you want to go back and watch that video, you can do that. So I've got all the electrical cut loose. Um, got the copper cut loose. This is a Whirlpool. That was, this was before Goodman made them. This is a Linux made Whirlpool. They use the Allied style valves. You can see down there. And you can see the Allied style model number uh data tag but it's whirlpool but you can see that that's allied which is linux and you can take a look here at this defrost board and know that that's a linux allied defrost board so uh this is when linux made whirlpool which is now made by goodman another telltale sign is two screws this panel pops right off that's a aries armstrong design but, uh, yeah, this is uh, getting swapped out. The uh, defrost board is actually bad on this unit right now. And uh, didn't and had very little refrigerant in it. So it's got a pretty significant leak. And then a bad defrost board. The defrost board is not uh, something with the condenser fan motor. Yeah, see, they had to put the condenser fan motor over here because uh, it wasn't letting power through it. And it uh, just wasn't heating or cooling because lack of refrigerant. So we're gonna put a new ream in. Got a, there's a couple guys up in the attic uh, tearing that out. We'll get some shots of that if we can. But yeah, now all I gotta do is I've already got my high voltage disconnected, my low voltage. Um, I just gotta take the uh, whips off. Low voltage and high voltage whip. And uh, we're not going back with a heat pump uh customer's choice she didn't like it she, she said she never liked this heat pump and she did not want another one so she chose to go with straight cool and electric heat uh i told her you know the heat you know that our heat pumps were much better but she didn't have didn't want to hear nothing about that so it is what it is so we're going to get moving right along here all right guys we got the old whirlpool out of the way, got the ream in place. The lines went right back on. I sanded them down. Put the new dryer in. Well, that's not the new dryer. I will cut that one out and put a new one, obviously. The whips, a uh, little challenge here. Not a challenge, but I'll have to get, this is a half inch whip, believe it or not. And, uh, I mean, the wire size is great, but they used a half-inch whip. Ring comes three-quarter only, so I'll have to get those reducing rings. And then my low voltage is here in this whip, and it doesn't reach all the way over here with you know without looking like shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a unit bit and then like right here. I will drill a half inch hole with the unibit and that'll look a lot better. So that's where we're at right now. All that's fitted, sanded. 
do that electrical and then have a, you know not much out here at all all right here's some of the old stuff we tore out old evaporator we had to take it completely apart and taco fold it because the staircase is too small all right guys so just like i said this whip for the low voltage wouldn't reach all the way over here without looking like crap so i took the unibit drilled a hole looks really nice we have a three-quarter knockout on Ream for some reason. Ream does not give you the option, you know, with the little pre-knockout like most units do, half or three-quarter, they only give you three-quarter. So we carry these reducing rings right here. And that, that way you can use a half-inch whip if you have one. So a reducing ring here and then one down here also you can see it and that'll get you your that way you can use a half inch whip so that's done still haven't soldered yet i'm gonna slide on a piece of rubber tech first and uh then we'll braze and wire guys everything's done low voltage is tied in high voltage is tied in brazing's done dryer's in place Put this little rag here so I don't burn my rubber techs. Looks good. Just gonna let this valve cool off and then I'll slide the rubber tech on and that'll be about all she wrote for the condensing unit. Just waiting on the guys to see how they're doing with the air handler. Hey. Okay, shut up the wall. All right, well, she's running. Looks good. Line set came out nice. Big commercial grade disconnect. Real nice sweep in the line set there. A little cool outside. No load in the house.